Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another episode of Hypermind. Hopefully you guys are making a great day. I am making a great day. This episode, we're going to get back into the swing of things by getting prepped and going on a little adventure to find our base space. Let's get it. Kick this back. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bit of an episode intro i thought i'd do something a little bit different uh for these these uh episodes a little bit of a sneak peek and preview so what's here's the in-depth of what we're doing we are going to get i'm first of all we are going to learn how to fly holy crap look at that if we if we stop ducking we still are floating oh my goodness <laughs> Screenshot. All right. So anyway, <laughs> I'm getting totally sidetracked. So what we're going to do, uh, the gauntlet was thrown, so to speak, or maybe we rubbed somebody the wrong way by the name of Soap. Looking at you, buddy. Yeah, right there. And well, uh, So anyway, we're going to go check out because he felt a little bit uh, offended that we talked about all the farms and not really about the builds and he finished up the build i think he finished up the build that spawn or at least he made a lot of progress in the video i saw so we're gonna go check that out just say hi give him a little bit of respect and honor because the dude knows his stuff and he does really good so i'm pretty excited about that then we're gonna get our stuff ready and enchanted for finding the base base spoiler alert we're gonna be underwater for this base if you saw the mcfriends you probably saw a bit of that we're gonna do the same idea but bigger so let's get to it all right here we do guys welcome back we are taking a look at soap's build at spawn like i said he he had it pretty basic because he just wanted to get the farm working now he's made it pretty 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 and uh the lights are pretty cool we put daylight sensors on all of them so that these these would turn on at night we could actually do that here let's take a look uh it's a little bit tricky because there's actually no place to all right night we just make it night See, they all turn on. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a little, I like that little hack. That's, I mean, that's kind of expensive because you're going to use up all those daylight sensors, but, you know, that's kind of fine. That's how it goes. And he did a lot to make all the iron golems spawn in there. And you can kind of see, we'll hop over here in, uh, like, got, uh, roof lines and spawning chamber then they drop down into the storage area and then funnel back up and then there's this a metric ton of stuff and i think that's that's how we got in here it's a little bit tricky to get up here so which i think is kind of interesting but it looks pretty cool so i just wanted to give him a little bit of a shout out with um his building abilities obviously are pretty awesome as well it goes all the way up and then that is, so that's where all the, the doors, I believe, are that make this a village. I'm not sure where the villagers are. I can hear them from time to time. And I'm sure I could go look at some of his videos and figure out. I'm sure he recorded all of this. So let's jump over to the end, get some enchanting done to get our equipment ready for the, looking for this base space. We'll be back with you guys in a minute. That was good times. All right, let's see if we can get something similar if we could get we're looking for depth strider protection four. okay well we got protection four which is i'm not sure if it's conflicting thank you for the follow let's hit protection oh my goodness are you kidding me <laughs> oh what are the odds holy crap i forgot to record some of this stuff but look at this what are the odds i figured Let's throw it in there and see what happens. See if we get our champions. One, we got a diamond helmet, which was protection for unbreaking three, which was awesome because we can add aqua infinity and the other one. I can't, I'm blanking on the other enchantment to it. Um, if we get the book for it, but look at this. <laughs> this is just unreal. Not only did we get Protection for Unbreaking 3, which are pretty great combination for any kind of armor. But we got Depth Strider 3, which is exactly what we wanted. I don't know why we brought that. So now we, we want to put Mending on. And I'm, I'm down a book of Mending. So we got to find it. We got to get one more book of Mending. But holy crap. 
This is, that is hilarious. We got exactly what we're looking for. So Aqua Infinity and then, oh, it's Respiration. That's the other one that I wanted. Do we have, is there anything out here? We do have Respiration in, in the suite. So we have all the things that we need in here and I could put Depth Strider back. I'm just gonna, I think I borrowed it anyway. So we'll put it back in there. And the only thing is we need, we still, I feel like we need to get mending on that. So Aqua Infinity, Depth Strider, and then mending, I think. Uh, yeah, so that's what we want. We got everything we need and we're just going to put mending on that. So what that does is, okay, first of all, let's, let's get rid of this trash. <laughs> This is garbage. And uh, then we also need to put, we still got, we got levels. We got levels for days. We're gonna do Aqua Infinity and grab that. And then we're gonna put Respiration on that as well. And I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to put Mending on that. I think Aqua Infinity and Mending might conflict, but that's fine. We're fully geared up um here here's what here's what mending does we're gonna we're gonna put that you can see it's got durability 15 25 61 and then we come in here and there it goes so it's actually fixing rather than us getting experience it's fixing our item which is pretty cool so we're gonna put we're just gonna fix it all up while we're here and I don't think we have mending on our sword. No, we do not. We do not. Do not. What? I don't know. Sometimes, man. I don't have mending on the bow. And I don't have mending on any of my armor. Okay. So let's stop monkeying around. We got everything that we need. We're going to leave the protection for... Should we leave it here? Protection... Depth Strider protection for maybe we'll go put it back in the library. Oh, here we go. We got a bunch in here. We'll just put it back in here. We don't need it. Oh man, sorry. Uh, All right, welcome back. We are making progress. I've been wandering the ocean, and I was gonna record some of that for the tubes, but. Uh, figured he'd save you guys some of that boring stuff. We were just kind of wandering around. Looks like it's getting dark, too. Um, we actually found a spot out in front of Hypermind, which is one of the spots we were looking at as a possibility. Two of them I didn't ever, I never even looked at, but this has got the, the biggest area that's, like, flat and kind of like a tube shape. Because what we're doing is we're basically going to make kind of like a... I think underwater promenade. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's basically like a mall, kind of like a tube with a canopy. Because we made the bubbles in McFriends. If you guys have been following me, you know what that was. And that turned out okay. There wasn't enough space, and I couldn't find ocean deep enough. But I just thought of it the other day of like, well, what if we do that and then drop it down a little bit into the, into the earth, and we're going to go in there. So what I found here... <clears throat> out of the way you jerk there we go is um i think we're gonna shoot for like right in here we're gonna go we're gonna try to go pretty big so it's gonna be uh, somewhere over here back to here and then probably gonna go into that area a little bit uh so i'm gonna get into marking it out and then we do have to build some way to uh to get um words are starting to get a lot of glass so i have an idea thanks to mumbo we're gonna build something similar to what he did and uh start cooking all that up and then that'll probably be the end of this first episode anyway let's get to it all right so we got okay so here's what's here's what's going on i don't really remember the last thing that I recorded but we got kind of the outline oh gosh you're so freaking scary get out of my way all right we got the outline of what we're going to do here and we're going to have to clear out terraform a little bit and then we're going to cover it and eventually it's going to be glass covering and 
but we got to do a lot before we get to that point. So I've, you know, we're building down here, which we're going to clear out down as well. So this is a good start. We're going to link this back to the nether so we can get back. And then I think that's, that's enough. I could have went more budget than this, but whatever. Cause, okay. And I'm curious where we're going to end up. I really hope we don't die. Um, let's store valuable stuff. So we're going to store all of this as well as this and this. Those are the two most valuable things. Everything else we can stand to lose. That's fine. And we'll put the food in there. And that. And this, this, this. We're going to keep the... There we go. All right, let's take a look. See what happens. We're going to have to rebuild it and link it up. Holy crap. We're on fire. Why are we on fire? I don't understand why we're on fire. Well, um, that's not good. We messed up. We messed up uh, Lapis's... Or we linked up with Lapis's portal. So we're going to have to head back. And then we're going to have to fix that. But we're not going to fix it tonight. I'm basically just going to break it. And we'll fix it here. And then we're going to get the... Uh, we're going to get... You know, you guys see where we are spatially now. Because we're right out here. But we're going to fix that, and then we're going to get the smelter going, and then we'll be done. So, what's the game plan here? Let me get a let me something. get a macro going on my mouse. <laughs> <laughs> just do it nonstop. Here we do, guys. All right, we are under under the sea quite a ways here. Now I got a portal linked up, and something interesting happens every time you go through. I light on fire. Let's see if it's going to do it again. Yep. There it is. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. It seems like only my portal and Lapis Lori here, which, uh, you know, we just, we covered it up for now with that lovely painting of Bob and his pet pig. Anyway, um, we'll eventually build, uh, we'll continue a tunnel out. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue on with her style or make make my own we're not too far off like you can see okay yep there it is as you can see uh people figured it out uh i mean i put a sign there <laughs> put a sign there so it does, didn't take them very long to figure it out and you know left the chest of the wall i busted through in order to link this up so we weren't crossing over nether nether portals nether portals if i can talk so what we want to do um before the end of this episode, I want to set up the sand smelter auto thingy. So we're going to go with Mumbo Jumbo's design to make a fast mumbo, or fast, gosh, I don't know what I'm saying, a fast smelter dealio. So we're getting a whole lot of, oh gosh, you did not finish the steak. So we're going to get a whole lot of charcoal because you either need all coal or all charcoal. And I think that charcoal is a renewable resource. So we're going to stay with that. And then we're going to uh, build it up in here. So I need to get some more resources. I think I need, oh man, we need a lot. So we got 15 furnaces. Basically, it's going to be 15 furnaces in a row and a butt ton of hoppers. So we need to make a bunch of those. And um, we'll be back with you guys when we get some progress. Nope, too early. Got this. Um, I got actually, this. If actually, if you hold down the trigger for the rocket, it won't go off until you're uh, Elytra is engaged unless you start looking at a block. Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> Jeez. That is, that is mending, too. So, <laughs> see how much better it is? Hold on a second. I'm getting a Jax Maxi raid like crazy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the day I don't have my face cam on. Welcome, it's... Raiders. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you guys so much. I wish you could see my face. I don't have it turned on right now. I'm sure there's a giant grin now that you're flying. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and, and you get to see my first flight like a noob. Isn't it fun, though? 
I'm a leaf, I can fly. Now you see how easy it was for me to get crafting tables over to Nihon's place because my base is so close. This is so cool, man. Oh, let's fly over Hyper Venice because it looks it looks pretty sweet from the sky. Look now you this. will want to make sure you pay attention to the durability on yes. the Elytra. They don't just completely break, right? They go they just go away. Yeah, they they don't completely break. They just stop working. But yeah. I don't know if you can mend it when it completely breaks. I'm not sure. Sure. If you'd have to an anvil repair with leather. Or well, what? thank you so much, Jax. Thanks for stopping in, too. I was in your stream earlier saying hi. I love uh, the mic stuff you were talking about. There's a lot of extra stuff that you could do with audio. Uh, Twitter. Are you asking if, if I have Twitter? Twitter's the same as my username. Pretty much go... Oh, hey, what's up, Kondrick? <laughs> Can you run into each other? Hold on. Oh, that, that'd that be a fun experiment. <laughs> I, I think aiming is the difficulty there. Oh, yeah, probably. I mean, <laughs> such a small hitbox. Oh, have you been to the ice farm? Uh, I don't know if you're going to want ice for anything. I might. But... Oh, we could, like, here we go. Let's try to shoot the, the, oh, my goodness. <laughs> the bridges in Hyper Venice. Oh, I've done that on this the way over to the portal because I use that portal. I, I've flown through um, the the side areas on this this big oh. sandstone bridge. Oh no, gonna die! Running into stuff, not a good idea. Yeah, no, running into stuff Holy. is not good. <laughs> yes, that would be it, big and tasty. There's actually a death message. All of for that. Oh my goodness, I'm missing all of the follows. Sorry, guys. Welcome to the friend zone, though. Filter yeah. Beast, Evelyn <laughs> McKnight, Gimpy Films. I'm being I'm being a jerk streamer here, not paying attention. <laughs> well, you're having too much fun. I am. I'm flying. Flying is the best thing ever. So do you know where the ice farm is? Do you want to know where the ice farm is? Uh, I do not. Is it by you? Yes. If you go, um, you know where there's this plains biome behind my base? If you head off towards the back left as as you are facing from the base. Back um, left. Okay. Of the of the plane spy, I'm, I'll wait for you to get over here. All right, see man. Yet. the The little friend guy is just freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I broke my highest for viewers. There you are. And this is right. actual viewers, not just a bot yeah. trying to troll me. All right, what's up? This way. You see me? Yep. Gotcha. Here we go. Now, oh, man, this is cool. You can follow I, uh, each other. I tried to show Lori <laughs> the ice farm uh, on one of her streams not too long ago. And I was like, I can't walk this whole distance. She didn't have her elytra with her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, uh, this is too far to walk because there's so many hills and everything. On like, you. Not you might be able to see it right up here. Big I am playing a game. Building. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. So if you need ice, um, it's a little slow to generate, but... Um, How do you land? <laughs> you can just pretty much just land. As long as you're not at too steep of an angle, you can just drop onto something. And also, if you fly close enough to something and hold shift, it'll actually stop you. Oh, like there we go. Dead stop. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, I'm playing on PC. Thank you. Welcome, Brennaven. Everybody from the Jazz oh, you, Maxi stream. You get the Xbox One question on here too. Uh, probably. <laughs> that's I've... nonstop on Beam. It's like, is this Xbox? No, it's it's not. I play good Minecraft. <laughs> I watch. I follow a guy on P. He plays PS4. I don't know. It's always you know those consoles are behind yeah. on all of that stuff. So. Well, since they added the Xbox app to Beam, though, it's this should be running any second now. Uh, it does a it has a slow cycle where it pushes up the ice in the troughs and then pushes the um, pushes that inward, and it fills up from the outer edge in in towards the center. Welcome to Kaza Stream, where we watch ice or water freeze. <laughs> Super exciting. 
I'm surprised the cycle hasn't run yet. We've been here long enough. It should. They're, to check they're the timer. in awe that I'm so excited about flying, even though since, you know, modded Minecraft for so long. Yeah, but it's different. I know. I did, I did is... uh, the crash mod pack or whatever. Oh, crash, crash land. landing. Oh, there oh. it goes. Oh, hello. And the <laughs> leg is real. Yeah, for a brief second there. I tried yeah. to make it as lag friendly as possible, but it's a lot of pistons pushing a lot of. All right, blocks. Evelyn, thanks for stopping in. You have a good day. I'm actually going to be wrapping up probably in about eight minutes here because I got to get going to work. So yeah. excited to see ice being made. It is awesome. Isn't it? <laughs> So and, uh, weird seeing vanilla. Yeah. Man, a lot of modders in here. Everybody's weirded out seeing vanilla. This is yeah. where it all started, people. <laughs> Just now, imagine on modded how much easier this ice farm would be. Oh, I'm sure. Which you way just, Which way back? <laughs> uh, pretty much uh, straight across this way. Actually, if you see this valley. Am I going to die if I just mountains? jump off the edge here? That's what I do. Oh, it okay. gives you more time to engage the elytra. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it didn't engage. What the heck? Oh. Why did it not engage? You got to hit space twice. Oh, okay, that's my problem. Yeah, you have to hit it. Well, I mean, not technically twice. You have to but hit when space you're in while air. you're in the air. Yeah, exactly. There, there you go. go. I got it. <laughs> So, Unmodded, yeah, this... one block. Ice machine, ice made in a machine. Okay, that's Jax mm -hmm. is saying there's a... Yeah. I, I just stay away from modded because... Whoa, why am I just going down? Uh, yeah, I... you might have hit one of those chunk borders. Um, oh, random okay. world load stops you dead in your tracks and has you float straight down. How long have I been playing Minecraft? I've been playing four years? But there was probably about a year... A year and a half, I did not play any. Nah, probably like a year. So I'm just getting back into it for like... Well, I don't know how long I've been on Hypermind, because that's when I got back into it. Yeah. Uh, a couple, maybe. I don't know, so you're... A couple actually, months. I can, see, I can see the beginning of your underwater border from the top of my lighthouse. So, yeah, you're pretty close. Yeah. Oh, I think try, this will be cool. Try flying underwater. Oh, I flew into the water and it pretty much yeah. stopped. Just, well, oh, okay. Um, you can, yeah, it'll stop, but if you hit the rocket once you get under there, it's like super speed. It's dolphin speed. Really? Swimming. Oh, I got to yeah. give this a go now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like. Um, you know, yeah, you can finish it, quote unquote, finish it by, you know, killing the dragon and all that stuff, but there's so much more to do. And you could just build, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's kind of nice. I like the community aspect of it. All right, so we're gonna try this dolphin thing. So you're saying hit the firework after you get underwater? Yes. So basically, just uh, get down into the water and then hit the firework again. And... Oh my goodness! <laughs> <Woo -hoo>! <laughs> <laughs> it's still on. Oh, we can fly out. Oh, that's so cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we do. Gentlemen's what? <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the last bit of this. We got a portal, as we kind of overviewed before. We got just kind of this temporary spot because we need to start cooking up the glass. And I don't have my right armor on. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Here we go. Let's put this stuff back. That's for wandering around because this stuff's really valuable. Um. So you can kind of take a look and see what's on out here. And we're going to build, yeah, around this way. So we need to, I'm still not entirely certain how we're going to do that. We're not going to put glass up right away. Uh, I feel like we're going to cover this and then we're going to put the glass up. And we got this smelting thing for getting all the glass. This is Mumbo Dum Jumbo's design to make really fast smelting so let's uh take a look i need to get rid of some of my stuff here and i'm half worried that it's just not even gonna work at all we're gonna put some of the valuable stuff up here and we need we'll have to convert some of that to uh blocks iron but we're gonna do it with regular coal i know i said i was gonna do 
charcoal because it's more renewable than coal, but you get coal everywhere. So we're going to go with that. Shoot, we don't have any sand to test this out on. I guess we're going to have to go get some sand. Be back to you guys in a minute. Okay, here we do. Let's kick this off. We got it all... Uh, <laughs> we have it all hooked up, and we got a lot of sand. Funny story, though. I brought a shulker box, and I left it in the desert. So I'm going to have to head back and get that. But in the meantime, let's make sure this works. So we're going to put all the sand up here, and that's going to feed it down in there. We should see these flip on and off. Or at least this one. We should see that one flip on and off. Um, all right, so we got it loaded up. I believe that's... It, it just will do one and then it powers on and then uh, we put the coal in here. It looks like it is feeding in two as well, as well, two, as two, 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 and there we go. Nice. Now it's kicking off. So I'm really curious, you know, I, every time I'm dealing with redstone, I'm, I am not the best at it. So I am always kind of curious. So, oh, it looks like we got others items that might have been dropped in while we were mining oh that's funny but the uh the glass is going so let's get that out of here man it's going crazy this is awesome i've never built one of these so i'm really excited to be using this because dang that is fast all right let's put let's put all the sand in because we're probably going to need all of this and then we'll put all the coal in as well and i need to go run and get that stuff that i left in the desert and then we'll be back with uh, on the next episode. Oh, oh, hello! Just I just threw my coal. All right, there we go. And we got plenty of that. And then that is off and running. I wonder if I need. No, we don't have enough of that up there. So we'll be back with you guys for the next episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. This is uh, really coming together. And I think the next part is we're going to start building the canopy here and figure out exactly how that's going to happen. So we'll see you guys in a few. This is Cosmo. You guys all enjoy the game. Oh, here we go. Ooh, God bless.